Okay, so um, I'm finally on Dying Light 2 PC. Uh, the open beta for Tower Raid is still going on. Uh, I don't know how many people have played it yet. I don't know how many people, you know, enjoy Tower Raid. In my honest opinion, I'm not gonna make an entire video dedicated to just how it Tower Raid, I'm just talking about it. So, in my honest opinion, Tower Raid is solid. It's a solid plan, and if Techland follow through with it without ghosting the shit out of the community, I reckon it would be good. But I still prefer PvP. <laughs> I mean, I don't care, I will, I will go down knowing that I prefer PvP in this game over Tower Raid. Tower Raid to me is basically the high round prison from Dying Light 1 if it was set in a tower. That's all this is. And on top of that, I know Tower Raid is meant to be uh, unique in terms of uh, mixing up the flaws, the modifiers and whatnot, but you still get that feeling of repetition. It feels repetitive in, so in those areas. And uh, I just kind of hope there's no repetition of that matter because if there is, it's gonna kill off the game really quickly. I've heard a lot as well, uh, people are asking for DLC to people who want it really bad. I'm in this weird position where I've watched Best Game Riley's video on the DLC 2 leaks and like the script or whatever and what was talked about. In all honesty, it's if anyone's watched it and if they've heard of that leak, it's basically just a nostalgia trip, if you want to put it that way. I'm going to go down that lane. I prefer a PvP mode over DLC 2. I just do. If you're going to have a go at me, just remember, Dying Light came out in 2015 and I'm pretty sure it got Be The Zombie mode within the same year. And then 2016, they announced the following. So in less than what... If, a year they gave us a PvP mode, and then a year later, basically, they announced the following. Within two, what, how long has it been now? Two years since Dying Light 2 has been out, we've had more bundles than actual, like, straight up content, if that makes sense. So you can see where I'm going with this. If, in all honesty, I prefer a PvP, because I feel like it would make the longevity of this, of this game better. But that's on me anyways, I don't know about you guys. I just prefer PvP over Tower Raid. But Tower Raid is still solid. It is. I'm not lying. But yeah, with this video, I'm just going to hop in and play on PC. I haven't played it yet on PC. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Alright, I'm finally in. Got to go over here to Jay, or Jai, however you pronounce his name. I'm going to turn off uh, co-op real quick. 2,000 years later. I hear there's old GRE in town in okay. that tower. Find it, get it straight. It's GRE in telling this fucking thing. You're dead. If not, you're still dead. Okay, go over here. I'm just gonna speed run it because I can't want to get to the elevators. I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention, uh, with e-game tools on, I've got guard mode. I thought I'd put out, that out there in case like I somehow don't go down the entire time. Because knowing me in solo, I feel like I would go down. As much of as an expert as I claim to be, I'm pretty dumb when it comes to just doing dumb shit. Infinite stamina when he'll. Okay, I'm gonna just have my heart on. Ooh. Ow. Let's go down. Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna do that. I prefer the hard mode, but I need to know like what the modifiers are to be honest. Let's start it. Oh, yeah, I'd like to turn on my heat because it's very cold. But it's gonna just make the background audio really good. No. Uh -huh. There we go. I don't know why it takes so long. Oh, God. I'm not really gonna take this run seriously because I've got God mode on. I'm not gonna bother turning it off because I kind of want to just speed run my way through. Oh yeah, very quickly. Um, I'm just gonna go off of something on Discord. I'm gonna just credit them, Malman. You know who you are. Uh, yesterday at 9 in the morning, because for some odd reason the time zone difference is really fucking retarded for me, they were saying there are 12 floors and you get and you get to go to 3 of those randomly each raid. They did the math, and apparently you have 220 combinations of floors you can experience in one raid. Next week if there's 15 floors, you'll have 465 combinations of floors. And he proceeded to go in all caps, bro if they had 20 floors you get four, uh, 11 floors. 40 combinations, like 1,140. That's, I don't think the math adds up, but I thought it was funny just to mention it. Oh, wow, the one time where I have a gun, it's on PC. Oh shit. I've sort of been playing Seven Days to Die very consistently, so um, excuse me if I'm really weird right now. Oh god. And then swap to this. Be dead. By the way, I don't have any of these sorts of modded weapons on the console. Nope. Get down 
from there, boy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There you go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you to the moon. Back. Oh, no. Yeah, doing this solo like, definitely is a lot better. Because you just know what you're trying to do, and there's no, like, uh, delay when you're killing zombies. On here, it's T. On 7 Days of Night, it's F for my flashlight, which is why it's weird for me. Damn! Oh. Am I still on the same floor? I swear, I don't think I've changed floors. Die, little bitch. But yeah, Tower Raid is actually, like, solid. Like, it's not me perfect, it's not flawless, it's not trash whatsoever. It's just solid. It's got a solid plan for it. And I've seen a lot of people comment saying that, uh, what do you call it? Not comment on my videos, rather, but like on other random videos. So this game is basically a copy and paste from Dying Light 1, except it's worse. I've, what do you call it? I've seen my friends say that uh, this game is just a poor version of Horan Prison. So the hate this is getting, it's kind of expected, but it's not validated in my opinion. DLC 2 can wait. We got a PvP and I swear I'll be playing that. How many of these motherfuckers are there? How many floors do I need to go through? Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but some games are just better off on controller than on keyboard and mouse, and vice versa. So this game, I prefer it on keyboard and mouse, if that makes sense, but when I'm recording, the microphone will just pick up on me, keyboard clapping, that's what I call it, clattering, cl I don't know what to call it, but the background noise, <coughs> essentially. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh yeah, I have no idea if anyone knows about this, but um... Check the vent. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Joe. But yeah, uh, a few things I'd like to show you is very quickly, opening this will give you a military med kit and some pistol ammo. Go over to the room on the left, you'll find some first aid over here. Uh, I don't think you'll find anything else in this room. In this room over here, you'll find the same thing. First aid kit, and then some extra ammo and military med kits. Can we also please get a military med kit blueprint? I don't know what's taking them so long to do it. Like, I don't know. When I have to make military med kits, I have to download Best Game Riley's mod that allows you to do it. Because this game apparently just lacks at doing stuff that modders do better. So, got to put that up. Floor 11. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's only one more floor after this. I attached that one mod, that data pack, that takes away uh, QTEs. What the fuck? I can't <laughs> I don't know, you know what? Let me know if you guys want me to try and speed on this. I'd have to do it with God mode on. I don't think I could do this without God mode on. I'll just survive the game. I'm gonna win Nope. I also got a comment on one of my videos. Uh, I think it was the Tower Raid video. Someone was telling me that I was complaining about animations, yet I was using a knife. When I talk about animations, I talk about doing a drop kick and landing on the ceiling, if that makes sense. In the original Dying Light, if you drop kicked it, you would go fly- like, you wouldn't go flying. I can't explain it. Like, there's still a bit of floating to the drop kick. It's not like it's been, like, fixed or anything. It still exists. What the fuck is winter so cold? I didn't get it. This is like the coldest winter I've ever experienced. No. I guarantee I would have gone down at least twice. Now. Kick. Oh, never mind. I'd say in about two weeks or so, I'll get back into the game. What the fuck? Let me move! I can't explain it, man. The movement feels so janky in, in Tower Raids. Is it just me or am I complaining? For, like, I'm, I think I'm over complaining. But at least complaining is just good, because I'm not sugarcoating how I feel. Oh, nice parkour moves. That was an entire floor. Oh my god. I'm not going for any of this stuff. I just want to beat the game. The moon was telling me to turn on my game, my music volume. Sorry for turning on my game, my music volume this late, but I'm trying to. Just. 
to strengthen. I can't tell what the music is. I don't to start momentum, I guess. Fuck. Oh! Oh yeah! Uh, uh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. Fuck yeah. This is literally just a 115 version buff for Dynamite 2. Or not, just don't fucking do it. Oh my god, man. Oh, fuck. This music goes hard. Oh, never mind. Is it cutting out? Is that deliberate? I have no idea. Man. It's really good music, though. Oh, but just imagine you're on Kano round fucking 30 plus. You just activated the music Easter egg. Oh, they're gonna just keep coming, I just need to... I'm not gonna bother with flares, I'm gonna play with bars. Motherfucker! Who's that? Ugh. There we go. There was a fat one there? Okay, I didn't see it. Nope. It's off. There we go. How many fucking rooms are there? Break it. There we go. What does this music sound like? It sounds like they've remixed something I've already listened to. So you got the classic elevator music. They should honestly remix the Be The Zombie music. Remix it for Tower Raid, I swear man, I thought that would go hard. I don't know, I think it's really new. Yeah, whoever told me to put the music up is a G. I don't know, it sounded this good. Oh fuck, I thought I could go for a screen. No, 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 I don't know if I Fuck off. Uh, great. I could open up this shit first. Is that military attack that I get? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, fun story. Um, I saw this on a video by JKM. Go around here. Or not. Oh wait no. Is that what it's supposed to be? Ah, oh, so it is that way. Okay, so I saw this video from JKM. I don't know if anyone else uploaded it, but that's the first person I saw it from. Uh, you basically get whatever loot you want, you can get the weapon if you want as well, and then you have to run around the whole thing, come back, and the loot respawns. So you can basically get infinite amount of supplies. So uh, yeah, I thought that was really kind of cool to just, you know, put it out there. I don't know why. Yeah, perfectly well enjoyed. Uh, Tower Raid, like I said, it's solid. It's not near perfect. It's not shit. Why are they still spawning in? I won. It was like a random ass jump scare that shouldn't be in the game. But yeah, we did it. Reminder, this is my first time playing on Tower Raids, but PC anyways. So I'm not like a high level or anything. But yeah, that was Tower Raids. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of the mode, if you guys enjoy it or not. But yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of videos saying that it's meh, it's this, it's that. My honest opinion, it's solid. I'm not gonna make an entire separate video just discussing Tower Raid because it doesn't need it from me. I'll just ramble on, but that's my honest impression. It's just solid. They just need to keep the grounds, you know, the way it is, update it so that way nothing changes. But with every update, something fucking happens. I don't know what it does, but yeah. That, this was my first run on PC, and I only managed to succeed because of God mode. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Take care and peace.